Right now, 4 o'clock, fast-moving developments in the coronavirus emergency here in Southern California. As the World Health Organization officially declares the outbreak a pandemic, the first COVID-19 death just reported today in L.A. County. Plus, more cancellations, more changes to big events, including March Madness basketball games without any fans. And typically, bustling college campuses are growing much more quiet. How are students feeling now that the courses are moving online? Good afternoon. Welcome to everyone watching here on ABC7 or streaming live on ABC7.com and the ABC7 Los Angeles app. I'm Ellen Lepa. I'm Mark Brown. In for David Ono, this is Eyewitness News at 4 o'clock. The first death from coronavirus here in L.A. County was confirmed today. A woman in her 60s who lives elsewhere but was in the L.A. area visiting friends. The World Health Organization officially declared the crisis a pandemic. The head of that agency saying they are deeply concerned by the alarming levels of spread and the severity of the outbreak. On Capitol Hill, the nation's top infectious disease experts told lawmakers coronavirus is 10 times deadlier than the flu and that the outbreak will only get worse. Washington state is banning events larger than 250 people, while San Francisco has banned large gatherings of 1,000 people or more, meaning tomorrow's Golden State Warriors game will be the first NBA game to be played without any fans. The Mariners plan on moving their home games out of Seattle. The LA Wildcats game in Seattle this weekend will be played without fans. And the NCAA just announcing it is banning fans from March Madness games. We're just hours away from President Trump's Oval Office address to the country as stocks plummet into bear market territory. We have live team coverage. Jessica Denova and Sid Garcia are standing by. We begin with Carlos Granda, who's live in downtown LA. Carlos. Well, these are the latest numbers. We now have 28 cases in Los Angeles County. This after Long Beach announcing just a short while ago one more case, bringing the number there to four. In the rest of the county, there are 24 cases. Now, the Department of Health announced this morning that they'd had six additional people testing positive. And as you said, we now have one person, the first death in the county. This was a woman who was over 60. Uh, she, she, she was not a resident uh, here in L.A. County. She was visiting friends. She had extensive travel over the past month, including a long layover in South Korea. And regarding the six people who tested positive, three lived in the same home as a previously confirmed case. We also have one who was traveling to France and returned home ill. And we have one resident with no known travel or close contact exposure who we presume is our second case of community acquired infection. And that person is also hospitalized. And the department is now going to every skilled nursing facility in the county. This is where the most vulnerable, older patients or those with underlying health conditions could be greatly affected by the coronavirus. We are working uh, to make sure they have good infection control processes in place. We're also working really hard uh, to assess at what point uh, do they need to completely limit visitors. Also, San Francisco is banning all gatherings of more than 1,000 people. That would include sporting events or conventions. Ferrer says they aren't doing that here yet, but they are looking at the future. It could mean social distancing. It can certainly mean canceling large events uh, throughout L.A. County. And while we're not there yet, we do need to get prepared uh, for the eventuality that we will see many more cases. And because of that, we will need to all do a lot more social distancing. And Ferrer says we're definitely going to see more cases and more community transmission. She is urging people to stay away from work if they feel sick to try to slow down the spread of this virus. Reporting live from downtown Los Angeles, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Carlos, thank you. Well, a lot of aspects of daily life are changing fast from education to entertainment. Orange County reporter Jessica Denova is live at the Honda Center in Anaheim where this week's Big West basketball tournament will be played but with one major difference. Jessica? That's right, and before that, tonight, the Ducks will face off against the St. Louis Blues here at the Honda Center. Now, this game was postponed about a month ago after the Blues defenseman had a cardiac episode on the bench, but the Ducks say that everything will be continued as scheduled, regardless of adjustments made across the nation because of COVID-19. The effects of COVID-19 reaching far beyond public health, leading to cancellations of large gatherings across California. Messages of caution leading to statewide postponements, cancellations of spectator attendance or events altogether, worrying those in the tourism industry. Not just us, the employees of the building. I mean, there'll be no ushers, there'll be no ticket takers, there'll be, you know, it's, I really hope 
that we get some sort of control on this. Events asking fans to watch broadcasts instead of attending include the XFL Wildcats game in Seattle against the Dragons and the NCAA Big West Conference at the Honda Center in Anaheim. The Big West Commissioner saying this is a prudent way to help slow the spread of the COVID-19 virus while being sensitive to our student athletes who have pointed towards playing in the tournament all season. Hotels and restaurants once expecting crowds seeing a drop in reservations. Aries Hotels seeing this in its 23 properties across SoCal, especially in Orange County. With five postponements at the Anaheim Convention Center, the city says it's business as usual with adjustments made by private parties. Now, of course, we've seen some individual events make decisions on their own. And I have to be very clear that the decisions they make do not reflect any unique concern about Anaheim. They reflect a heightened awareness about coronavirus. Now, for those with tickets to this weekend's games on its website, the Big West Conference announced people with tickets can go ahead and check with their respective points of purchase to see if they can get a full refund. Reporting live in Anaheim, Jessica De Nova, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jessica. In Los Angeles County, even more local colleges are heading into uncharted territory. Eyewitness News reporter Sid Garcia joins us live from a very quiet USC campus. Sid? And apparently, Ellen, one prestigious high school this afternoon, Harvard Westlake announced that it's closing for the next couple of days so teachers can work on basically teaching their classes online beginning on Monday. It's growing an ever-growing list of colleges and universities that have opted to go online. USC, UCLA, Cal State Long Beach, Loyola Marymount University, and a number of other universities and colleges in Southern California have switched over to online classes because of the coronavirus threat. At USC today, it was noticeably quiet. There wasn't a lot of activity on campus. Today through Friday, they're testing online instructions. Students told us this is going to be a challenge. Since we're architecture students, we have to have studio time. Um, so everything, we haven't taken any online classes yet, but we do start today. Um, so we'll see how it goes. We're supposed to log in and have conference calls with our professors. I like being, I think other people definitely motivate me to do work, so it'll be interesting to see uh, how being at home will, will affect everything. USC spring break is next week, so how long will the university be online after that? We are moving online totally for the uh, week um, after spring break and perhaps for longer than that. I think, of course, the advanced cancellation of the classes after spring break was also really smart um, just to you know, help qualm fears and make sure that people are getting on board onto the, te onto the technology um, in case we do have to continue this process throughout the rest of the semester. Now, earlier today, Chapman University down in Orange County announced it's opting for the online option. And also this afternoon, the Los Angeles Community College District announced that it's asking its professors to switch everything online. This is changing almost hour by hour as more institutions are added to the long list. Reporting live at USC, I'm Sid Garcia. ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Sid, and stay with Eyewitness News and our app and website for continuing coverage of the coronavirus emergency. Later in this newscast, my local gun shop owners say they're seeing a boost in sales due to the virus. Plus, a closer look at what experts say are the best ways to prepare yourself and your family during this global pandemic. We'll also bring you live coverage of President Trump's address to the nation tonight at 6 o'clock here on ABC 7 and streaming live on our free ABC 7 Los Angeles app and ABC7.com. Well Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.